Ah, he's not even wounded. Oh, stupid battle sphere, man. That's so dumb. You break. All dumb things. It's so silly. This location is so bad. I mean, actually, I didn't even realize that our it's plus five to all non-magic skills. So I'm not sure where where you're getting using it early. That's not. Hero doesn't affect their spellcasting. Anyhow, yeah, they don't have it in the starting book, so it's not that strong of a spell. I mean, BVC is a is a is a fairly strong spell, but it's it's kind of comparable with LRD. And they had access to LRD from Earth Elementalists. Well, yeah, but they don't have a shield in the first place, and I mean, they probably don't have armor either. If they're starting as necromancer, so it, he was he was thinking that the magic skills got increased, but they don't get increased. Good old Wanda Polymorph. Zombie friends. They all love me for who I am. Oh, did I get... Huh. Seems odd to me. Are these normal spawns?
very uh, surprised that rhyme drakes are are sort of spawning. And um, they're not on the normal spawn list, I think. But anyhow, yeah, gnolls are... They have a very strong early game that you could argue is imbalanced. I think the rest of them, they're not, relative to other species that exist. Now, you could sort of say that species like trolls and spriggans and centaurs are just not balanced and that it's that that's terrible but i don't think gnolls are in any way like as bad as some of those level 17 splat territory if i die now it's a splat Yeah, that's what I mean. I mean, they're not... Crawl species are intentionally not balanced. And trolls and spriggans and centaurs, that's three species that I would say that's easily stronger than than a null. Yeah, that, that is the intent. Basically, you can kind of think of... It's sort of like uh, all three of species, class, and god functionally act like difficulty settings in this game. Now, God is sort of special because you don't choose it in most cases, except for the the Berserker classes, the, well, the Berserker classes, the uh, Zealot classes, the three Zealot classes, you don't choose them at the start of the game. So Chaos Knight is like a challenge class because Zom can just kill you arbitrarily and uh, is worse than like worshiping atheist and then Bez and berserker gets you a like candidate for the absolute strongest god in the game and then ak gives you a sort of a relatively middle tier ish god um, but then even for the other gods you'll often have a choice of you'll have some choices of uh, gods that you find on say D2, sometimes even on D1, and um, that will act like a difficulty setting as well. And there are other things, like do you want to use allies, do you want to use ranged combat? Which shouldn't really be difficulty settings, but... So what, this one was just generic stuff, huh? It's interesting. Rhyme Drake's confused me. I thought this was for sure gonna be... It was just a bunch of Hydra and stuff. Uh, demigod is is counterintuitive for uh, new people. Demigod is strong early. It's one of the stronger uh, species early on. Um, it gets harder later. Uh, it's never very difficult, and the later portions of the game, the better you are at this game, the, basically the difficulty is just constantly... Your, your chance of dying is just constantly falling. There's a learning curve, of course, and as you're learning, you'll you'll be stuck in the early game, and then you'll run into some hurdles, maybe with Lair, and then usually people make like large jumps in progress once they can manage to start getting to a rune. They'll probably get pretty deep into the game before they maybe run into another roadblock. Sometimes that's Zot. Sometimes it's getting the third rune, like doing Bolts 5. Sometimes they struggle with... Uh, depths maybe or they uh they could quickly run into elf and uh have trouble right away but yeah usually it's like a long time learning the early on portions and then learning layer and then to a lesser extent some of the layer branches but uh demigods the further you go the the lack of the god starts to hurt but at the same time they're just not they're not that weak they have they do have very good stats and good, uh, good HP, although I have to remind myself, I just ascended one not, lo not long ago. Yeah, AR plus 
but the low XP means that they kind of functional, that balances out so they don't really have that much higher HP because they do have a lower XL. But yeah, they're not really a challenge species. Again, for somebody who knows how to play the game well. Because although they are harder, uh, yeah, I got back my potion of haste at least. Later on, that's the e that tends to be the easier portion of the game for experienced players is the is later on. Like uh, for my my ratio of winning is if I've made it to layer is usually above eighty percent or so. So basically, if I make make it to layer, it's sort of like the game is mine to lose. Now I have a lot of wins and I, I have a lot of experience, but that's that's pretty common for players who played the game a lot. Like if they want to win, now not everybody really cares. Well, we did the rune without going to swamp for or spider first. I really wanted to find. Maybe our poison to make. Yeah, they're the scales, but. Is the encumbrance on those? Hmm. I wonder what it would be, actually. Let's let's try them on and actually see. I mean, it. I don't really need our poison that much, but I mean, if I could get a start on getting some AC. Well, you know, I think we've got our solution right here, folks. Good old Deep Elf. And I even have I even have AC. Yeah, I don't really like the idea of copying god effects so much. I think that's incredibly... Um, it's it's going to get kind of problematic. Because god abilities get designed... What you're, what you're sort of introducing there is a dependency now. Because before, when we design god abilities, we were thinking about, okay, well, you have this god, so what happens? Now we got to think about, well... You could have a demigod, and that means you could have these abilities combined together. Now what happens? So it just introduces a... or, or whatever the species is. So, um, I mean, as far as a technical thing, can the abilities uh, be, like, arbitrarily, randomly assigned? Yeah, that's, that's not too hard to do. I think the real... the problem is you're sort of designing a Nemelex-type species, in a way, here. Nemelex is this god of giving you all these different effects and you're doing something kind of like this but instead of a well the set of effects that you're giving are from god abilities so the thing with nemelex is that his effects tries to not duplicate existing things and that that entails a ton of work but it's nice that those things are at least independent so that, you know, if we go changing, it doesn't, it's sort of like, you know, his, his thing, even though it's a bunch of implementations that have to be made for every different effect that he can have, they are dependent solely on him. I don't think I would like it as much if Nemelax were more directly copying some of those things. I mean, um, and other people brought up the point that, like, if this is a species where you can't worship a god, I, I don't know what the new species would actually be. Maybe it allows you to worship a god. 
but it's basically duplicating you know it's duplicating what you would get from a god so demigod wouldn't make so much sense if it was like oh you can't worship a god but you actually can the god is just built in so it's one of those things where you don't really have the drawback the the upshot is that the randomness can at least sort of make it exciting i guess but it's not really it's obviously not the same thing of like no you don't have a god it's not really that if you if you design it so that it just starts getting a bunch of god abilities it, it effectively does have a god it just has randomly generated god i guess it sort of might depend a little bit on how you cost the abilities but there's plenty of there are plenty of gods that have a piety system that's completely unique well not plenty but there's a bunch there's gozag there's ru i mean if you think about what ru is ru doesn't really have piety it has it doesn't have piety in the sense of like you can gain it and lose it over time and gozag gozag has something that's kind of analogous to piety but it definitely doesn't work the same way because it you have no piety decay It might actually, I mean, it, it kind of might even be more interesting if you, instead of making it a species, you actually did just make it a god, I feel, almost. But, that, I mean, that could be kind of fun, because then you wouldn't tie it to a, you wouldn't, wouldn't really tie it to a species. Because this is a really, really heavy species gimmick, It's not, which is not a problem in of itself, but... I don't know, I guess if you tie it to a species, at least uh, you have one thing to balance. Alright, so I guess we uh, solved it. I enchanted up some stuff to get a little bit more AC out of this. This will help for, like, spiders being next to us. I could enchant more. I don't really want to enchant up this armor, because this is not my preferred uh, endgame armor, really. Zom has the best piety. Oh yeah, Zom also doesn't have piety in the normal sense. That's that's the other example. Zom is a challenge god that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Um, do I want to enchant anything else? I mean, maybe not. Spider should be a lot easier now. Well, speaking of, uh, Let's go get those. Yeah, I guess I just don't, I don't really care for the the approach. If you're just using it as a programming project, then yeah, I mean, by all means. Personally, my advice to you, though, would be to try to... You seem to be going at it more of like, I'm going to start to write some code. <laughs> and uh, any programmer will tell you that if you don't plan it out first, you're just making uh, your life a lot worse in many ways. Um, and the game designer programmers would probably tell you that too. I know that has also been my experience. It's easy to trivialize how much like designing the thing out, how how hard it, it is, and say it's not that not that difficult. Yeah, you could save hours of planning with weeks of coding. Zerg knows. Believe me, I've had to go just re-implement something 
for, for really stupid reasons, all because I just didn't stop and think. But it's a really good exercise when it comes to actually implementing something to get disciplined to say, no, actually, let me stop and think about what I want. As opposed to just starting and writing a bunch of code to do something. And if you, if you want an exercise, I mean, it's good to have a project that actually is for sure going to go somewhere that like this is actually going to work. I mean, it's, it's okay to do like programming, you know, explorations, I guess. But when I was, you know, learning the code base, I certainly was programming for something that I actually wanted to get in the game and it did. It did get heavily modified, and I learned some very good lessons about uh, talking with, you know, the project members first, because I implemented something way more complicated than what I needed to. And I hadn't really thought out the design. I had just thought, I'll add this, I'll add this, I'll add this, I'll add this, and then I did add those things. But then I removed them. This down there. I can probably let's take a look here. Oh, you would do that, you son of a bitch. I don't like that at all. The training. Oh yeah, conch. Well, it's sort of stupid the way I did that. Taking that, uh, this guy resists RF, or he has RF, right? Yeah. And he's demonic? Yes. You're just not fun, mister. God damn, I... Oh, this reminds me. Kill him, my zombies. Well, well, well. to Scorpion. Don't tell me about that dagger, sir. I need it. I need that dagger. Dagger is key.
It's a legit dagger, Zerg. Here's the man himself. Dedicated to Fedos. Interesting. Well, I don't really want to go crazy versus Nicola in terms of. Uh, Get him distracted. Okay. And Oh, aren't you clever? Look at me. He doesn't have much health left. He doesn't resist a... There he goes. Problem dealt with. See, I'm a pro. It's all because of my plus zero dagger, actually. They make fun of the dagger, but they don't they don't understand the dagger meta. It's a whole strategy. It's a It's a meta strategy is what it is. <laughs> 